talk about Proposition 1. I, in a lot of cases on my ballot, I looked, it's the top question on the ballot. I'm not sure if that's true in every county. But when you read it, you're not going to, uh, it's not going to say everything that I'm about to tell you tonight, right? It, it, it says very little. So there's a lot to it, actually. There's a whole, there's another bill completely attached to it that's with the implementation of Proposition 1. So I want to go and explain Proposition 1. Full disclaimer, I voted for Proposition 1. In fact, uh, we have 11 House members that represent Tarrant County, uh, eight Republicans and three Democrats. The eight Republicans voted for it. The three Democrats voted against Proposition 1. In fact, one of the Democrats who voted against it is now Wendy Davis' campaign manager. Whether that's worth But uh, Proposition 1 uh, is to basically create a financing mechanism for transportation here in the state of Texas. Um, What's been happening, as you know, uh, we have been funding transportation. Our infrastructure has been growing, and our population has been growing, and inflation has been growing. And over the last few years, we have been supporting part of the growth of our transportation funding with debt. Okay, we get about 40% or so of our money from, from Texas, Texas revenue. We get about 40% or so from the federal government, the taxes you pay towards the federal government. And then the rest of it, we have been paying about two to three billion dollars a year in debt we've been acquiring. Uh, we've all been smart enough, smart enough to tell the legislature a while ago that we're going to cap the total amount of debt we're going to give them. So that cap is rapidly approaching and we're going to hit it next year. What that means is that relative to what we've been spending, adjusted for population and inflation growth, we're going to be about four billion dollars short per biennial. So the options are just don't fund roads, which uh, I was late today, and partly that's because you know there is a lot of transportation needs here in our area specifically, but also throughout the state. We could raise taxes, we could raise fees, we could increase debt, or we could go and we could do a pay-as-you-go, use existing revenues to fund transportation financing. And that's what Proposition 1 does. Using, it uses existing tax revenues to fund roads. Not all of it, okay, I don't want to think that we're going to fund all of it with this particular mechanism. Now what we're going to do, if, if Proposition 1 passes, then we're going to take some revenue that we have today, and we're going to go and dedicate it towards roads. The money that goes to roads can only go to roads. So that's for highways, maintenance of highways, it's not for rail, it's not for the airports, it's not for those other things. It's all going to go towards transportation. The money that's allocated to this also cannot go towards toll roads. And what we said to Texas, thank you. <laughs> what we said to TxDOT, we said, listen, we believe that there is some waste in TxDOT. So in order to get this money, you're going to have to cut 100 million dollars from your budget before you get these dollars. So we put a lot of, I think, really good features inside of there. But I also want to tell you kind of the two best features of it, in my opinion, is one. We're asking you to allow us to do it, but we still, in the legislature, we'll still have the opportunity at the beginning of next year to see if everything is going okay, if the projections are okay, if TxDOT has been listening to us, before we go ahead and vote to actually transfer and decide to have that money transferred. The second thing which is important, and this is a little bit in the details, but since some of this revenue would be money that's today going towards the Economic Stabilization Fund, what we would say is we need to have a conversation. As part of this bill, we're going to have to have finally, in my opinion, the conversation about the ESF. How much money should we have in the rainy day fund? We were fighting that all last session, were we, Jonathan, about, well, we don't need any, right? We need $5 billion. We need $6 billion. Well, as part of this, if this gets approved, is we're going to sit down and we're going to look at whether it's needed. How much do we need to keep our credit rating solid? How much do we need in case we really have an emergency? How much do we need in case we have another revenue shortfall like we did just four years ago? So in summary, when you vote for Proposition 1, it won't say any of that, but it's what it does. What it will do is it will take existing tax revenues to support the financing of roads, specifically roads, not toll roads, and it will also be part of the reason why TxDOT has to cut $100 million. Um, that's the skinny of it. And again, most of the, every Republican in Tarrant County voted for it, every Democrat voted against it. Um, I know um, I, I promised to talk about the reasons for it, so I'm obviously biased, so I gave you the reasons for it. 
There are some people who think that there's even more waste inside of TxDOT and that maybe we should fix more of that waste before we go and finance the rest of it. And what I would say is, again, this proposition allows this to happen. We still have, ultimately, the decision in terms of how we're going to tell TxDOT to do it. If this doesn't pass, then we're going to have to find another way to fund those four billion dollars or so. And we do have some ideas how we can do that again with on tax and so on, but this would be very helpful for us to be able to use existing tax revenues. Do I have time for like one or two? One question? Okay. Five, I got five minutes. All right. All right. I'll ask one. Yeah, go ahead. Geo, Johnny Marshall. My understanding is that currently on, in the current text, in the, ter, in the current uh, way we do things, we take five cents out of every dollar to pay for schooling out of the tech stock fund. Right. That's okay. still going on. Why are we wasting money like that out of that fund? Sure. Why can't we get the schools to fund their own project? Sure, Johnny, that's a, that's a great question. And what I'll say is that uh, there are, in this context, so he was asking specifically about the five cents per, when you buy a gallon of gasoline, you're paying 20 cents in state taxes. 15 cents of that goes towards this fund, and another five cents goes to other things. This, that's one fund, and what I'm talking about here is through another fund, which is the Economic Stabilization Fund. But in this fund, you're right, we take five cents of that, and it funds education, it funds DPS, it funds a lot of other agencies. And I know the legislature for a long time has talked about stopping that diversion. Um, I really genuinely think that we are looking at how to do that this session. So we are going to undo that five cents. And we're going to put all 20 cents of the gasoline tax towards uh, transportation. But what I'm also tell you is that in order to fund the shortfall that I'm talking about, $4 billion, we would have to raise, so that you're talking about five cents, right? We remove that five cents. A gallon of gasoline at the current ratios that we have would have to go up 40 cents a gallon, okay, which would put us at higher than the state of California. It would be the highest in the country. So when people talk about raising the gasoline tax, it just doesn't generate as much per cents as people think. This this could the this fund, the proposition one, could get us about one and a half billion dollars. Stopping that diversion, I guess, will be about 500, 600 million dollars. But we're still working our way towards the four. Okay. Yes. No. I don't know. Where'd you read that? Oh, so their question was that she's been reading that these funds would go towards toll roads. That a lot of regional governments have said that they will focus the funds on toll roads. And then instead of them coming here and there, I mean, they're wanting to do it at once so that we don't have a chance to... Yeah, I, I don't know where you read that, but I will say that if this passes, it will be in the Texas Constitution that this money does not go towards toll roads. So this money won't go towards toll roads. Yes? Oh, okay. You and you. Okay. Could you go into a little bit more detail about the waste in TechStop? Right. So there's, uh, I'll tell you what people will say, is that there's some projects that they have been funding that, that just a lot of people think aren't necessarily uh, things that we expect TechStop to be funding. And I'll say this is kind of second hand. I haven't looked at all of it, but there's things like trolleys and there's there's other things that are that are being funded that um, I would say isn't necessarily TechStop's fault, right? They're listening to maybe what the legislature allowed them to do in the past. Um, any agency, any business, even our own personal spending, there's some amount that you say, well, that was kind of a waste of money, right? Uh, but what we're going to do is say, listen, well, you have to start down this, this path. One thing that I get a lot on that is people would say, like a woman, let me go to, I don't know if I fully answer that question, but those are some of the topics. I know there's, a, there's an article out there that talks about the trolley and a few other things that are kind of expensive that people have been, that people think shouldn't be under the text, I think. But what I'll also say is Proposition 1 won't allow any of the money to go to those types of projects. Okay, so Prop 1 is just road maintenance and new roads? It's highway construction, new highway construction, it's maintenance, and it's also enlarging of some new roads, right? So it's... No bike trails, no trains. No bike trails, no trains. Um, TxDOT is huge. I have three seconds. Oh, yeah, Jonathan. Will you talk about who else would be, have a vested interest now in protecting the rainy day fund? Okay, right. So now, so one of the things during the rainy day fund is for a lot of groups and associations, they look at that as a big pile of money that they could hopefully get their money on one day, which is, again, why I believe a lot of Democrats really wanted to uh, not have this bill passed. 
But what, by passing this, we now have a group, which is basically anybody who uses roads not wanting the rainy day fund to be depleted. Because now you have, you all have, anybody who uses a road, anybody that constructs a road, anybody that, that ha is in long commutes, now has a vested interest in making sure that the rainy day fund stays at a high enough level that we will continue to fund transportation in the future. So with that, I have no time left, but uh, anyway, there's a, I, I'm a big fan of Proposition 1. I know a lot of the conservatives here in Tarrant County really worked on it, and I'm out of time. I'm sorry, but I'll come by and answer your question. Is that it? Thank you.